All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash, and double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone and his sincere Shalom. Tell you, I came bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. And now you see this article is stemming from the RT, and it reads Russian scientists make alarming 5G discovery. It says cell phone radiation has led to changes in the brain tissue of lab rats, right? It says controlled exposure to the 5G radiation spectrum has resulted in changes to the brain tissue of laboratory rats, according to a team of scientists from Tomsk State University in Russia. Hey, now here it is during the lockdown. Hey, what did they erect up in, you know, every every city around you? Hey, it was a great emergence of a 5G towers, man. They told all of you to stay in the house, you know, hey, and uh, stay uh, six feet apart from everyone. A while in the meantime, they were setting up these towers in order to improve, you know, the, the, the connection of 5G to, to be able to really detract you. And it's going to affect you. Understanding that the, the, the body, you know, the human body is going to consist of over 70 percent water. A, these frequencies, these vibrations, these energies affect you. Right. Look up, you know, videos on, you know, how how energy, how sound, how vibration, you know, affects um, you know, the way that um, snowflakes form when certain music is played or, or how plants grow in different uh, genres of music. Well, it's the same thing when it comes to the vibration of 5G, man. And this is why these uh, uh, the radiation has led to the changes in the brain tissues of lab rats, because these are different. This is a different frequency frequency of energy waves, man. Right. So let's continue to read it. It says ever since the introduction of 5G cell phone infrastructure, there have been concerns about its potential health effects. The International Agency for Research on Cancer, the 5G radio frequency electromagnetic field, RF, uh, that's uh, EMF is electromagnetic uh, field, as a possible human carcinogen. And what does carcinogens do? They cause cancer, right? It says, but no conclusive research has, emo has uh, emerged either way. But we know Esau doesn't do anything to benefit, you know, anybody, right? It's all for and his infrastructure and his rule to be established by any means. That's that's that devil's MO. By any means, whatever it takes. So him bringing forth these 5G towers <clears throat> is not for the benefit of society. It's for the benefit of him to be able to rule and govern. All right? So I even looked it up. Let's look at some, some quote-unquote benefits for 5G. And it reads, faster speeds. It says 5G networks are much faster than previous generations with up to 50 times the speed of 4G LTE. Uh, lower latency, which reduces the time it takes data to travel between devices. Now, to the average person, you read these and they're like, oh, well, in society where technology is um, increased, you know, the pathway for, you know, getting what you want out of technology decreases, right? But at the same time, this only benefits you to the point of where it's going to cause you to give in into the system more, right? Some here, remote work. So, Still a system where you're slaving under him. Right? So all this does is track you faster. Right? Everything here is, is basically for the, the, the user to be tracked at a greater rate or at a greater speed. Right? It says improved entertainment. Right? Provide a more seamless experience for streaming. There goes your bread and circuses. Increasing that field. So now your mind is more stuck into, into you know, wanting to stay here because... And you can get back to your gaming. You can watch your movies. You can stream your music. Right here, they tell you better health care, but that's not the truth. It doesn't matter if these, uh, um, you know, uh, this tower is going to allow this data to move more, uh, um, flow more seamlessly, so to speak, through this medium. The job of you still needing actual physical help is not going to be increased. You're still going to have to go through the system. A, you still have to wait on a doctor to go through and actually, um, you know, administer these procedures for you. Right. So this just shows you that he's creating that system, that bridge, you know, through gradualism a, of an AI, a, a, a robotic, transhumanistic, biohacking world. This is what it's all for. It's not to better the person or, or to, to ease your hell. No, it's actually to increase the effects of hell that it brings to you. It doesn't speak about anything that's actually beneficial 
unto you. But it speaks about what data transferring. Oh, it makes this faster, which in, in for people is just convenience. Here it is. He's increasing convenience and he's stripping more things from you, right? While killing you. That's why it says here, the cell phone radiation has led to changes in the brain tissue of lab rats. We already know that keeping, you know, the cell phone in your pocket is, is damaging you, you know, testicular cancer grows. And is now a problem because cell phones are giving off so much radiation in your pocket. So now increase that frequency and vibration of that, uh, that device. Now, both men and women are getting, you know, uh, cancer in their inner genital regions. So... Let's hop into some precepts, man. This is um, Psalms 37. And 12. And it reads, The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. Right? This is just another scheme. You know, another cunning art. You know, that's done by Esau, man. It says, The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him. With his teeth. That's what it is, man. It says, The Lord shall laugh at him, for he shall... It's like it. For he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out their sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to say, and slay such as be of upright conversation. Right? It, this also a uh, faster, uh, um, you know, streamlined data allows him to control a what's being said and what's being allowed to be posted easier man it gives him range a better range to to manipulate you know to cut off the avenues in which he don't want to come out alternative media really the truth we already see how he's attacking the truth now basically telling you that anything that's not a from mainstream media is a lie oh this this is fact checked so how much more when you have a system that's uh more advanced more ai controlled Right? This is Psalms 36. I'm going to start at 3. It says, The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He hath left off to be wise and to do good. Right? And we know, a hey, him that is accustomed to do evil, to whom shall he do good? It says, He devises mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He abhorreth not evil. Matter of fact, I want to get this in a blue. And it reads, they lie awake at night, hatching sinful plots. Woo! Their actions are never good. They make no attempt to turn from evil. They make no attempt to turn from it. Hey, this is what he does. Hey, as the scripture says, uh, can the Ethiopian, it's like, can a leopard change his spots? Or it's like, can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Right? And I just quoted that. Neither him that is accustomed to do good evil. Right? He says, um, they lie awake at night hatching sinful plots. And these are the things that they devise in those secret councils, you know, ways to overthrow, you know, the, the, the general public. And most importantly, the elect, because they, the, it's not the public that's a threat to his agenda. It's, it's those who believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and are blowing the trumpets in this wicked society. Those are the real threats, man. Why? Because he knows that what we're... Reading is true. He knows that everything we're saying is going to come to pass. So the biggest, you know, uh, the, the individuals that are the most adverse unto his plans, his schemes, are the elect. Because they have the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua within them. Right? The Holy Spirit. It says they lie awake at night hatching sinful plots. Their actions are never good. They make no attempt to turn from evil. Right? In fact, I mentioned Psalms 64. Before I get into that, I want to um, actually read more of this article. Right? This book about carcinogens. Let's look up carcinogens. Because we understand these are cancer-causing agents. It says substance radionuclide or radiation directly involved in causing cancer. And when you look at, um, oh, what was that movie called, man? Uh, 
Lord willing, I, I'll describe it. You know, I can't think of the name right now. But basically, um, you know, in the movie, they had the one Jake hey, who was um, basically working with the insiders on, I believe, Wall Street. You know, and his family got caught in that um, on vacation. You know, it was dealing with the end of the world when the world ends or something, something along those lines. And they, um, the son of the, um, what was it, of the Edomite, he ended up getting sick. Right. And then they also had the sirens playing in the movie when the world ends. I believe that's what it's called when the world ends. And they had the sirens in the movie. And um, it was basically known, you know, after, you know, the movie progressed that the, the radiation and the sound of that sirens, the sounds of those sirens made him sick, man. You know, because it was a frequency being pushed throughout the region of that city. And it caused him to get sick from it. It gave him basically radiation poisoning, man. You know. So this is exactly what E is doing now. It says a radiation directly involved in causing cancer. A carcinogen is an any agent that promotes the development of cancer. Carcinogens can include synthetic chemicals, naturally occurring substances, physical agents such as ionizing and non-ionizing radiation, which are chemo, right? It says in biologic agents such as viruses and bacteria, most carcinogens act by creating mutations in DNA that disrupts a cell's normal processes for regulating growth, leading to uncontrolled cellular proliferation. So this is what those rats went through, you know. They basically gave these rats cancer to see the effects of 5G. Says we decided to find out what the effect of non-ionizing radiation is on rodents of different ages. Says uh, they, the scientists experimented on male whister rats. And we know this is what he does. And... These animals, you know, catch in hell too. That's why the scripture tells you the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High, man. Hey, because they catch in hell by being experimented on. Here it is. I believe it was in South Carolina. You had the, the 40 plus monkeys that were in the lab getting tested on that broke out and they dealing with all types of, of viruses and whatever Esau has been doing uh, to them, you know, whatever experiments, right? Hey, and his rats, it's all different types of animals. Hey, he does the experiments on the human population. Right. <clears throat> it says scientists experimented on the male whistler rats preferred by scientists for having similar reactions to external stimuli as humans. They test a the scriptures say the heart is deep. <laughs> it says they tested three different age groups, five to six week old rats corresponding to human adolescents, 10 to 11 week old humans. I mean, 10 to 11 week old uh, the human adult ages 40 and up and rats aged 17 to 18 weeks, humans 65 and older. All exposed to uh, radio frequency, electromagnetic frequency, frequencies, a uh, magnetic field frequency, Slakia, for five weeks, which is the equivalent to about four years of human lifespan. Here it is. Look at the monkeys right here. That's the spirit. I'm just talking about them. It says the study. Look, and you got their heads locked up. This is this is pure slavery, man. Pure hell. Even the monkeys catching it. it. Says the study showed no outward changes between the rats exposed to the radiation and the control group. However. A more detailed study of the rat's brain tissue, right? So it wasn't a physical, you know, change in which, you know, they changed the parents or even may have changed, you know, necessary, uh, um, you know, actions in the flesh. But when they took a deeper look, they seen that the changes that occurred were internal, right? So it affect, affected their mental, their, their psyche. It says, however, a more detailed study of the rat's brain tissue after exposure to the 5G antenna revealed a significant change in the ratio of antioxidants and oxidants. It is still unclear whether the changes will lead to a positive or negative changes in the rat's cognitive abilities. And well, we know that it's going to be negative, right? After being exposed to, to something that causes carcinogens, where, where can the positive effects be? Right? It says... Or whether their bodies will somehow compensate for the disruption, right? So even if, okay, say that, even if your bodies do compensate for the disruption, this means that it took the, the, the energy of that body, you know, to try to balance out the damage that was done into it. So it's still not going to be at its peak performance that it once was. It says she added calling for further research into the subject. Uh, the study represents the first time scientists have been able to measure the radiation of absorption rate. Now, this is another thing that you have to take into account. These rats weren't pumped with, you know, uh, uh, the scenes, man, the, the jabs. 
we have to take into account that people have willingly given their bodies over to the name of science, even though Esau he has never done anything beneficial for people. That's what the scripture says in Sirach 13. If he have need of thee, he will use thee. So now you have people with this foreign substance within their body, you know, now being affected by these 5G carcinogen waves, man. So you got you got demons on type of on top of demons that Esau has has put on you, man. Pharmakia in you and pharmakia all around you. It says um represents the first time scientists have been able to measure the radiation absorption rate on caged rodents. The radiophysics teams led by Professor Sergei Shipilov designed the 5G antenna for the experiment. Um, he said developed a method for measuring the absorption rate. The work was published. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Next stage of the research is intended to study female rats <laughs> and investigate how 5G radiation might affect their offspring if funding can be secured. So here it is. The experiment is being done on a micro and a macro level because on the micro level, they're affecting rats and not people. But Esau... The elites, you know, have already affected the people. So they're seeing how it affects, you know, uh, the, the pregnant women who's also taking these jabs, man. Right. So this Psalm 64 at the top says, hear my voice, O Yahweh, and my prayer preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of slaying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? Right? So when we uh, read it in NLT, you know, and break it down. It says, hide me from the plots of this evil mob. From the gang of wrongdoers, which are the Edomites, man. Right? And you have the other nations who are also uh, completing these experiments for E. You know, Moab, Ammon, Elam, you know, they're, they're all a part of this. And when we go into the Psalms 83rd chapter, it lists the nations and who are, who are confederate with Ian doing this. All right, when we uh, go to Secret Council, H5475, it says Council Assembly, Council, Secret Council, um, let's see, an assembly, an inward secret council, which is basically what, you know, the elites sitting together. An assembly. Let's see if it's any more. Right, a familiar conversation, hence the word conspire. So it's a breathe together, right? A secret. <clears throat> it says who wet, which that word wet means to sharpen their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even be their words, that they may shoot in secret at the Perfect, hey, which are really the, the innocent, the elect, you know, those whom Yahweh Bashim is, hey, um, you know, designated to be, uh, it's like those who Yahweh is designated to Yahweh Shai, man. As he said, they are thine and thine are mine, right? The Lord gave the elect unto Yahweh Shai. Continuing, it says on that they may see, shoot at the secret and that the perfect suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily, right? Those are what the traps, the gins, you know, all, all of the different devices <clears throat> and methodias, right? The cunning arts, the trickeries, the deceits in which E is uh, lining up. They say who shall see them, right? They, they believe that they're untouchable or can't be uh, found out. Continuing, it says they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. Hey, when you read NLT, it says, as they plot their crimes, they say we have devised the perfect plan. Yes, the human heart and mind are cunning. But Yahweh Bashim shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So shall they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. They shall, all that see them shall flee away. Right. And ultimately with them, you know, making publicize or publicize these um, different experiments, you know, we can go in depth into these actual publications and, you know, chew the meat, spit out the bones and report on them through the spirit. Right. And you even got Edomites that's, that's, you know, that do that. 
you know, going to these different legislations, different executive orders of what Esau publishes as law, you know, the grievousness as which he prescribed, as the scripture says in uh, Isaiah 10, you know, and goes into depth to what they actually mean and how they're going to affect you and later on down the line. Right now, I got, um, I believe, one more precept lined up. Yeah, Micah 2. Is Micah 2 at the top? It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and that work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And Yahweh Shai gave him this appointed time to rule and do the damage, man. Right? Though we know he, he won't allow him to fully set forth his enterprise, and he's still allowing Esau, you know, to, to build up his wickedness. And because Esau is still going to be used as a, as a sword against you niggas, man. You know, read Isaiah 10, right? It says, and they cover fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. But that was the point, man. The power is in their hands. The earth is given into the, uh, the hands of the wicked. <clears throat> he covered the face of the judges thereof. If not, where who is he? Right? So, hey, this is just more of the wickedness in which Esau is doing, which we understood, you know, that the, the negative effects of that 5G were going to be made manifest. Hey, but little do we know, you know, we're going to start seeing these um, effects of it, you know, publicly. But I just want to report on it. Lord willing, it was edifying unto the body. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakodash, and double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to Yahweh, bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.